Hey everybody, it's Iguna. Thanks for coming back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, um, I would appreciate it if you subscribed and click the notification button. So I mentioned on some other videos that I was going to um, talk about a game that I've been playing called My Time at Portia. It was developed by, I think they call it's called Pathia Games. And it's an RPG. It's still in alpha, um, as you can see the version right here. And early access begin in January, I believe. So it kind of puts you in the mind of Harvest Moon and like um, Animal Crossings. Um, it's set up in, and I have trouble with this word, <laughs> post-apocalyptic era. Well, I said it kind of sort of. So yeah, basically what happened is uh, the church, um, there's kind of like this uh, friendly feud going on between those in science and then the church. The church believes that uh, man basically reached too high into technology and that's what led to them being in this um, era where they're kind of rebuilding. And science, you know, was kind of like, hey, yeah, made some mistakes or whatever, but if we can have some of these things using them cautiously to make our life easier, why not? So there's that that's going on. And I think that's always been going on between the church and science. So even in real life. So I like that they brought that aspect into the game. Um, to me, the goal of the game is basically to develop your workshop, which you'll learn about that when I start the game, and uh, develop the world because you'll be uh, as you go on, you open up to new cities and stuff like that, I guess. Um, I got the game through Steam, and it was 20 bucks, I believe, so um, I'm really not into playing subscriptions right now. I mean, I got too many other things to be paying for, so if I can buy a game and just, you know, play when I want to, and not have to worry about being charged for it, that's what I'm I'm into right now. So, um, I do have a character. Um, her name's Moon, of course, and I think she's up to level 33. So, I ended up, um, I'm at the end of the storyline, so I was like, this would be a great time for me to do, like, a, a gameplay or tutorial just to share some of the things that I went through. But then what really got me going was that the developers made an announcement that at the end of March, um, they're going to release some more content. So I'm like, oh, I gotta get this together. <laughs> so what I'm going to do today is make a whole new character and um, share some of the things that I've learned. And I'm hoping that um, people will share some things that they learned in the comments because I definitely don't know it all. Someone can teach me something while they're also teaching those that are deciding if they want to play. So we're going to go to uh, New. And I really like that this game, it changes with the seasons. Um, I like that a new game that I play. And some of the, this is what you're seeing right now is a picture of the uh, harbor. But some of the, like, it kind of lags a little bit. And I thought it was me. But I'm reading that other players are saying it's lagging for them too. And my internet speed is pretty good. So um, I'm learning that. I I've read what people said it was, but I'm not that tech savvy. So I don't really know what it was. So here's where I show what a hot mess I am. <laughs> um, I'm going to create a male character, but I'm going to name it after someone that I'm close to in Second Life because this person claims they, you know, oh, I see what you're doing and even though I don't say anything, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to see if they know, if they see what I'm doing. And if you know this person, you are not to tell them. So I have a female character. I'm going to make a male character and I'm going to name him D'Angelo. Look at that. So um, right now, don't even bother with the voices because they don't change. Um, I guess because that's something you're still working with, so don't even bother with that. Um, 
don't click any of this until well, you can click this to randomize and then this resets your character back to default but don't click confirm until you are ready to like be done with your character because I made that mistake and had to start over <laughs> my girl so we have the gender selected this is the hair and I like that they have these little braids they don't have this for the girl and then you can choose how long the hair is so these are going to really stick out there because I want them flopping around and stuff like that um, you can choose the hair color so it's like hair highlight and the hair color so I'm going to make the hair color dark and then I think I'm going to give them some blue highlights because I like blue so funny I just got a text from the person that I'm making this avatar after and he's asking what are you doing bruh you really don't want to know <laughs> so that's his hair so now we're gonna go to his face type and let's see let me turn him around I don't like that face I'm sure as game development goes by We'll get more choices. So, do I like this one? I'll keep him like that. And he'll be a little brown. Um, I've messed around with this skin tone thing on my other character, and I kind of, I, I just didn't really care for it. So, I'm not going to mess with it now, but feel free if you'd like to. And then this one is the upper face. Um, you can change some things uh, on their face. So, um, like the brow position. And then eyebrow thickness. I'm sorry, this is eyebrow shape. Sorry. This is brow thickness. Make them a little thinner. And then you can do the eye size. Eye shape. He's stubborn. Uh, the height of the eye. The spacing between the eyes. That will be further apart. This will be closer. Um, eye color, same thing. I didn't really mess with it too much because it um, it just didn't seem to work well for me. So I'm going to leave that one too. And the next uh, area is lower face. Um, I'm not really going to mess with the lips, even though I don't like <laughs> the lips um, for a darker character. It just looks kind of like they got something going on there, like they have had their mouth where it shouldn't have been or something. I don't know. That's just me. So, I'm just going to kind of leave it there. So, this is the end. I'm going to confirm it. And, let's start. So, I have the game turned on to where you can hear the character. So, um, if I find when I'm going through editing that you don't hear them, then definitely I'll edit some of that out. But I want you to kind of hear um, what they'll be saying to you. And it gives you time to read that as you're coming into your gameplay. So we're on the ship coming into Portia and you'll hear, hear talking in just a bit. I promise you're gonna hear speaking. We're coming up on Porsche. <laughs> Whoa, that looks beautiful. What are you gonna do there? Ruin diving. I love the accents. Mm. 
Oh my god, it's a little slow. Something like that. We get someone like you once in a while. Always seeking that adventure. Good to be young. That's a cool boat. For them to be in the era that they are in. It's pretty good. This dude that's driving the boat has like, I think about four or five brothers and they all look alike. I'm so confused by them all. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Thanks. Bye. Look at those boots that D'Angelo is sporting. Should have made him a little lighter. But it is what it is. So yeah, I'm going to end up speeding this up so you guys won't have to deal with all of this. This is Presley, so he's going to be the first person to help you out, and he's the commissioner of the, um, notice this where it says Matt Port Presley, because you're going to have to meet some people to, um, complete a task. So, I'm going to space through this, they're going to talk. Presley, how do you do? Ah, good to see you again. Hope you had a pleasant journey from Monarch, right? That's quite far. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop, so if you would please follow me, it's pretty close. So, where it says space, you can just um, left click with your mouse, or you can hit the space bar. I do left click. I wonder with what my it's mouse, like. So it. I didn't get to know my paw too well. Let's just talk about this paw for a minute. He's a deadbeat, so I, I don't. If he even if he comes back. I don't think any of my characters are going to be all friendly with him. I mean, how do you not see your kid and you leave them this whole rundown workshop? Anyway, positive view. That's just my take on it. No one's been working there since your pa left Porsche so many years ago. He was a good friend. He was a bum. Yeah. <laughs> so, to move in this game, it's the typical A, I mean, W A S D, so. To go forward is W, you just follow Presley, and then you use your mouse to stay in line. And then your spacebar is jump. Oh, don't run Presley over, D'Angelo, that's not nice. Um, I have my graphics set kind and of And here we are, your so workshop. This is the workshop. This place sure has seen some wear and tear. What do you think? It's a dump. Looks homely. And I just noticed he said homely. Now then, here's a letter said, from your father. He asked me to present so, it to you when you've seen this seen house. other things where they might want to clean up. Um, some of the spelling, but I like the game still. I'm just being petty. So yeah, here's the letter that the dead bee left uh, for the character, so I'll let you guys read it um, when you play. Here's the workshop handbook of your paws. Take your time. Come to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Peach Plaza. Can't miss it. Okay, so that handbook is going to come in handy, so I'll show you how to get to it. Um, this is actually your first task. You're going to go to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow, um, and then it's gonna, it'll be in Peach, Peach Plaza, which is right 
up from your little workshop house. So we'll space bar through this. And it's talking about the builder's license that you need. Got it. Tomorrow. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Bye, Presley. Rest. Thanks for your help. Okay. So you don't have to move it. I think it's going to put you in. Oh, just thought it's today. I forgot about that. And you see this every new day. Ah, so. my head hurts. I didn't sleep well at all from all the breeze coming through the cracks last night. Okay, so that's going to be a task where you have to fix all of these. Uh, we'll just space do this. So your, um, your task end up showing on the... Um, right hand side of your screen, but we're just going to move up with your W and E is how you um, will open up your task, open up a box and things like that. So by to fix this, you're going to need wood and I'll show you what the wood is. Or if you don't fix it, you're not going to get a good night's sleep, which means that your health won't um, increase to its full uh, amount, nor your um, your stamina. So if you look at my bar, my stamina, which is in yellow, is not full because I didn't get a good night's sleep. So that's one of the first things that we need to do is to fix that. So we're going to do E to exit. And then go through our gates, which automatically open for us. Um, and here's your mailbox. You already have a letter. So click E to check that. And it's from the Porsche Times, which is a local newspaper. So nothing, uh, I'll let you guys read this when you start playing. Close it, and then you can do unread, read, or save, or whatever. I just get rid of it. So, um, you don't have any tools, so you're not going to be able to chop down trees here. But for things that's just laying around like this, you click E to gather it because the wood is what you're going to need to fix uh, what's wrong in your shop. So E to gather. And then you're going to need some stone as well. So E to gather that. Um, these are too big to pick up so you're gonna have to break that and that's when you have tools and uh, depending upon the how good your tools are is what you can break open so here's a chest they'll be all over um, you'll see them some of them are harder to get to and you have to think put on your thinking cap to get to them but you'll see those later on in the game so you click E to open it <laughs> And you get what's inside, and these are some worn gloves. And believe it or not, you're going to need them. So I might not show you in this game because I'm going to keep it. I mean, this um, video because I'm going to try to keep it short just to get you started. So here's some more stone. Gather that because you're going to need. Need it, need it, need it. Pick this up. Um, here's Pinky the cat. Um, I don't know who she belongs to, but you can never remember her. Um, she's just saying, hey, I guess, a space. And then you can, you, this comes up with different characters in the game as to what you can do. So with her, you can chat with her, and she just says that meow thing, and it gives you a relationship point. Um, you can give her a gift, but you have to figure out what she likes, because if she doesn't like something, she acts a damn fool, like I gave her something that I thought she would like, and oh my god, she acted like I tried to kill her. So we're just going to leave and go on about our way. Pinky's a little bougie anyway. So now we're going into the city. 
and if you see on my little the lower right side you'll see the star it's telling you where I need to go um this is Sonia you're gonna need to meet her too you're gonna need to meet as many people as you can you're, you're that new interact. person you just inherited that workshop outside of town right ah, sorry where are my manners I'm Sonia and you gained a relationship point with her and these are all the things that you can do with her. RPS is rock, paper, scissors. You can spar, which is fighting, give her a gift, chat with her, all those things. I'm going to leave, even though she's kind of nice, because I want to get to this guy getting away from here. This is your nemesis. And, yeah, he's an ass. So, I just want to make sure you meet him. So quick You must interact. be the competition. Whatever. And the more the barrier. Bring it on. So, I'm not going to spend too much time with him. I do beat him up often. But, I'm not fighting with him right now. <laughs> um, so, that's someone that you're going to want to meet, too. And they're a little picky. But right now, we have to go in and meet talk to Presley and we're at the Commerce Guild so you click E to enter nice to see you how are you settling in so I just say very well great let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild we're the organization that orchestrates trade across the entire free cities region this is the Porsche branch now then let me give you your builder test this is our relationship. Really easy. Increase pickaxe and pickaxe and bring. You need to have wood and stones to make these. You can gather them on your own or buy them from the total tools in Central Square. Okay. After you have the raw materials, you need to craft the items on a work table. I saw your paws with one in your yard. So check and see if that one still works. Okay. So Presley just told us that the first. Uh, step of our builders testing our build builders license is we need to make an axe and we need to make a pickaxe so you can go and buy them but we don't have any money so first of all let's go and meet Anton he's trip he works here hi there Click I know who you are I'm Anton we'll probably be seeing each other a lot <laughs> mm -hmm. he is a diva yes he is and uh, you'll notice all the things that you can do. Um, you can chat with him, give him a gift, rock, paper, scissors, you know, and then, so. Um, this book, I'm probably not going to use it often, I haven't. It's a guidebook, and it gives you more information about, you know, how to improve your workshop, um, how do you get commissions in the commerce mill, who are the builders, those, those types of things, so I'll let you read that. But um, I want to take you into your inventory. So to get into inventory, you click I. Um, so these are all the spaces that you have open right now. These are the, the logs we picked up. This is a stone, and this is the gift that you got. You only got 20 golds, I think it is. Yeah, it's golds, so you can't buy much. Um, then you can click here. This is about your character. Um, there is a skill tree that will be you know, as you level up, um, and you can uh, fill up your your skill tree as you see fit, based upon the, one of play, the type of player you want to be. This is your handbook, the one that he gave you. Um, it shows you how to make different types of things, so, and what you need to make them with. Here's an item catalog, if you, you know, something you need to make and you don't know what you make it on, it tells you right here. Like this is a work table. If you want to make a practice sword, it's work table level one. And your work table now goes up to three levels, I think. And then this is the assembly index, um, which we'll get into that more too. Here's your mission um, tablet. So it's telling you what you, your reward is. Um, you get more interaction points and then you get experience and it tells you what you need to do. Social, um, like I was telling you about, you need to meet people. So here's Presley. Click on it. As you learn more about the person, you learn more about their bio. 
and their preferences, what they love, what they like, dislike, and what they hate, so you know not to give it to them, but I'm finding that you really don't know until you try to give it to them, and then it pops up in one of these things. So relationship perks is why you want to meet people and become their friend, because as an associate, you get, you know, extra reputation points. Um, different ones, you get different things, like um, some of the ones that are like they call them, I think they're civil, they're like the police of the area. If you become friendly with them, you get more um, defense points or uh, things that to do with combat, stuff like that. So here's your map. You're in the commons go. When you go outside, it looks totally different. And then here's a calendar. Um, like it tells you... Um, different things that are going on. They do have little events that are fun to do. So I just wanted to make you aware of that. You get there by clicking I. And E, we're going to go out. So we need to go ahead and gather stone, not only stone and wood, not only to make our tools, but to also fix that um, hole that's in the floor. So, see, remember I told you that there are chests that you have to get to, and you have to be, this, this is one of the easiest ones. So, eat it, open it, and get what's inside, and you get some salad sauce. So, you can sell that, or you can use it. That's possibly going up, too. And these people are kind of like on a routine. Um, now, this is... The folks from the church, Lee and Nora. So I think Nora could be Lee's daughter. I'm not sure, but we'll meet her while she's here. Oh, hi there. Need to interact. Are no, you she's a sister of the here? church. So I don't know. I'm Come Nora. Here. I'm a missionary at the Church of the Light. Nice to meet you. So it's not his daughter. He's got that girl held captive in that church. That's weird. Okay, so then we'll go over here and meet Lee, who's the pastor or the minister or whatever you And you are? Oh, you must be the new builder the mayor told me about. I'm oh, Minister Lee. Lee of the Church of Light. It's a really? pleasure to meet you. Look at that bling around his neck. I didn't notice that. So here's all the different things you can do with Lee. And then here's the guy, Russo. Are you new here? I'm Russo. He's the mirror's butler. And you'll meet the mirror to you later. So, um, I'll show you in later on this little, well, I'll show you this now. It's a church store. But there's a story about, it doesn't take money. It takes these things that you find while you're uh, mining. And basically it's things of a technology nature, like these little discs, and this is like, um, let's see, I think they're um, like, I don't know, some kind of data thing too, I forget what it's called, uh, something to make computers work. They don't want these, what they call relics around, so they give you stuff in, in exchange for them. Like these are things that you can plant on your, your little uh, land, so... It's not time for that yet, so let's just go out and gather what we need. And this is Emily. Emily's a little hot in the pants. I'm just going to say that now. Hey there! I'm Emily, your next door neighbor. It's so nice to have new people move into our town. Drop by my ranch sometime. So she's the old lady farmer's granddaughter. And, um... Yeah, these are same things you can do with Emily, but she said something inappropriate to me later on in the task. You'll see that. But if you're looking for somebody to marry easy, I think Emily's a girl. Maybe she's trying to get away from Grandma. I don't know. So we're just going to gather all that we can. And time goes by pretty fast. Um, I don't know what's going to happen in development, but right now, if you're out of dark, like, no monsters come out, like, 
you know, I don't know if any of you played Minecraft, but, you know, when it gets dark, the monsters come out, so, <laughs> I can remember hurrying to build a hole, just being in a hole, <laughs> and then I would peek out to see if it was daylight, <laughs> so it's not like that in this game, not yet anyway. So just picking up stone, and I have to be careful because this takes up stamina, and I don't really have a way to replenish stamina yet, so I need to um, be careful. So I'm going to grab this and then turn around and head back so I can build these things. Okay, anything else close? No. Everything else that I left, um, I'm going to have to hit um, with a tool once I create it. So see how slow he's moving? And I have my graphics down, like, you know, pretty low. But, um, like I said, when I was reading on the wiki, not the wiki, um, I was on the, um, the, um, Port page in Steam and others were saying, you know, they had really good gaming computers. I have a gaming computer as well. It's time for me to replace it, but they were saying that theirs moves like this too. So, um, you want to pick up things like this. This is an herb because it helps when you're creating um, items for your health. So I don't want to leave those around. So I'm trying to see how many... Yeah, I don't have enough sticks yet because remember I have to... Um, but I'm going to stop picking up herbs right now because I need the stamina for the sticks. Because I need to fix that. That four. So, just so you know, um, those things out there are llamas. They're colorful llamas. And until you have a weapon, which you're going to create for yourself, or you can find one, you're going to have to basically beat those llamas to death to get certain things from them. And uh, if you're an animal lover, I know it's kind of not like what you want to do. But, um, they respond, like, the next day, or, one time I saw them respond, like, sooner than the next day, but just don't watch how they die, it's pretty dramatic, <laughs> just beat them down and leave, <laughs> and, um, the, um, better quality your, your weapon, they die quicker, so, you don't have to stand there and beat them to death and swiping at them. So, now we're going to go back to our workshop to create these items and to, uh, well, I'll fix them for later tonight because I forgot once I create the items, I'll then have tools and I can knock down some trees. Okay. See that little arrows of our workshop to let us know that's where it is. So, jump the space bar. Who needs a gate? So, you go here to craft and then click E. So, we needed to make a simple axe. We only need one. So, you highlight it, click craft, and make sure it's just one. Um, if you wanted to make two, you could do the plus sign or hit here, but we don't. We want to go down, and we want to make one, and, one. and we have it. And then we want to slide down and make a pickaxe. Go ahead and craft that. Just one. Confirm. Okay. Exit out of that, your work table, and you'll see uh, my builder's test. I've completed everything. So I just need to go back to Crescent.
And sometimes they're not where you left them, so you have to, like on my little uh, compass thing down there. Well, let me show you this. Let me open this up because it's saying mission. Um, okay, that's a mission that I have for him, but let me, I'm sorry. Let me open my map. You'll see there, here's my builder's test or I have to um, deal with Presley. But you see something here is highlighted. And that means that I have another opportunity so I can go there or just, um, I'll finish this first, but just be mindful when you're looking at your map. Sometimes if you open it up, you'll see you have something available to you in orange, which will give you more money or give you a better relationship with people. So more people are out here. I'm gonna go ahead and meet them. This is Phyllis. She's a nurse. Oh, who might you be? I'm sorry, assistant. I don't have time to really do a lot with her right now. So, and then here's Mars. He owns the store. Mars thinks he is fine because he works out. And if you would just give me a minute. Oh, when they get mad, if you push them. And he's married to Carol. So you can't date him. I know some of you Gucci mamas try to take a married man. So the star tells me that um, Presley is back in the college guild. So I can go to him and turn this in. Clicky. And there he is. He's got those dots over his head. He's waiting on me. So ah, click e to excellent enter. quality. Nice fate on. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Now for the second test. You are to build a stone furnace. This one's a bit tougher. You need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. Okay. Hmm. So now I have to. If I remember correctly, your pa kept a very detailed account of the things he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook and see if you can find a diagram for the stone furnace. Once you have a diagram, just use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. Okay. So he told us to use the workbook to um, create the furnace that we're going to need. Click E to go out. See this time it's moving faster. It's just really weird. Oh, well, there's Emily again. I got time for her. So being that I have um, tools now, I'm just gonna go ahead and get some more wood because I'm not sure. And you just go up to it, left click, and then once the blue arrow is depleted, um, you'll be done hitting it. But it sometimes it hesitates. Don't know why. So that's one tree down. And as long as you stay close, I found that whatever, and I've leveled up just that quick. Keep hitting it. Come on. I don't know why it hesitates like that. Let me get a little closer. Okay. But like I was saying, I found that if you um, stay in the area then the logs and whatever else came down will go into your inventory. You don't have to pick anything up, but they'll kind of follow you as long as you stay close. If you look at my stamina, it's depleting, so I want to make sure I do things that I need to do. And here's some stone, so we'll use our pickaxe get that and it gave me some marble as well which was the blue pieces and you're going to need marble and the reddish is copper 
which we're going to need copper to, copper to. So, and you'll need the furnace to smelt that. So we're going to go into our little yard, and this time we're going to go to the assembly station. So if you walk up to it and click E, it lets you know what you can build. So I need to build a stone furnace. So what I'm going to need to do is to make a stone stool, which takes 10 stones, and I also need 10 pieces of wood. So I have enough wood. So what I do is I move my... Sorry about the noise. I scroll over to the wood and, oh, sorry, dummy, go back to the assembly station. Click build because you want to put it out there. And then it gives you some tutorials that you can go through if you need to. So make sure you have the item in your hands. Walk up on the assembly station. And then it says place the 10 pieces of wood for the wooden trough. You click your left button. There it is. And now I need to make a stone stool. So to do that, I go over to my craft area, and then I find it. So right there. So here it is. So it's telling me I have enough to make one. It takes 10 pieces of stone. I have 17. So I click craft. Just want one. Confirm that. There it is. Confirm it. And get out of the craft station. Now all of my tool area, my my spots are taken up, so I have to click I to get into my inventory. Here's my stool. I highlight it, click it, bring it down because I'm going to need to have it in my hand. I use my mouse to scroll over, walk over to the assembly station, place a stone chamber stool. Yeah. Um, and that's the sound of achievement that we all know. So click E to retrieve it. And then I'm going to go and uh, find uh, Presley. And like I said, I jumped over everything. And you'll see the little question mark over there. That little short um, brown guy, that's Gail. He's the mayor. So you're going to want to go ahead and say hi to him. And he's going to have a task for you after you're done with it. Welcome to town, new builder. I'm Gail, mayor of this wonderful city. If you have any issues or concerns, just drop right on by. And he's right next to the commerce. So we're going to go turn this in and we'll see you in a little bit. That guy, he's um, Albert. He's with the construction company. You're going to want to be friends with him early because being friends with him will make the price of things he needs to update for you lower. And there's Anton. We'll talk to him some other time. So Presley's ready for us. Great Mickey. job! Great job. This is your builder license. Congrats! Yeah. Now you just need to take this license over to the mayor's office and get your workshop registered. In our registered. relationship increase with Which him. You can Great. start taking regular commissions. This little board back here is where we get commissions. Come from. back and talk Every with day. me after you register. So now we got to go back to the mirror to get our license. So I'll go back out. And you get to keep the furnace because we're going to need that. And we have to find them here. There he is. He's got those little dots letting us know that he is expecting us. Eat welcome, it. welcome! You must be He's the new us builder! Speech. I'm Gail, the mayor of this town. It is I'm here to register my workshop. So we're registering. Very well. What is the name of your workshop? So it's asking what's the name of my workshop. And I'm going to name it something that is near and dear to my heart. If I have enough space, I'm going to name it Lightstone. Yeah. 
So it worked. So that's the name of my workshop. Are you sure? Yep, I'm sure. Nice name. Limit. There. Your registration okay. is complete. Thank you. Okay. Also, we're going to have a now fireside a town meeting once in a while. Uh, they'll be announced through the mail. Try to make them if you can. You don't want me being the only one there. <laughs> he's telling us about the meetings that they have. Now he's got the task. So you need to interact with him to get it again. And here it is. This is a meeting. Oh, meeting. right. You should get to know some of the people living in this town for your own benefit. I made a list of store owners within the city walls. So you should go introduce yourself. Okay, so we have another task. Um, but I'll show you that when we get home. Let's go and um, talk to um, Presley again. And see the little stars on my little, down at the lower um, right hand side of my of the screen. That Those are the people that you need to meet. The little stars. So once you meet all of them, you complete your task with Gail the mayor. And you want to meet them anyway because... There's benefit to meeting those people. So we've completed another task. We have more um, relationship points with Presley. And we have more rep points. You're now a bona fide workshop owner. Your pa would have been so proud. Screw that, Let Debbie. me explain some of the processes for our trade. Here at the Porsche office, we post workshop commissions every day based on the speed so and quality of the results. This. We I'll make a ranking of the workshops every week listed um, on the wall behind the There are other workshops in Porsche? There are other workshops. Oh, yes. Yet, Adding are. yours, there will be five workshops in our jurisdiction. Besides the ranking list, you'll also have a workshop rating, which is listed on your license. The higher your rating, the higher quality the commissions you can get. Once you're done with your orders, you can pick up the commission fee from Antoine if it's from the guild or the respective person who commissioned you. Builders make we'll most of their money from doing later. commissions through the Commerce Guild, to do another but video some just build or... items and sell directly to the market. That's fairly lucrative as well. Sorry, I'm being rude to Presley who's talking, but some of the stuff that I'll show you in the next video, you might learn before I get back, so... Um, just gonna give you some of the basics. Anyway, stuff. since this is your first commission, I've kept one just for you. He's giving you the first commission? Or so you think. Uh huh. Playing favorites, are we? Higgins, you already took one today. Higgins. Oh, yeah, you can only get one commission a day. There are never too many commissions. Good day. His big nose. That's why I beat him up. <laughs> That's Runt. He's the owner of the current's number one workshop. Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he does things. Well, I'm sorry. That was our last one today. Or was it the last one for today? Dum -dum -da -da. Hey, Press, I got a job for you. Or not? Carlos with the popo. -po. Mm -hmm. What is it, Arlo? We're looking to build a bridge to Amber Island. So the mayor finally put up the money. Well, young yeah, the civil court here is, is up for the though. challenge. Yeah, you figured that place could be a real tourist attraction with the haunted cave and all. Check your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. If it's there, use it at your assembly station. After you're done, also, 
and this is important, for a project as big as a bridge, you need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather materials. We have one... So he's telling you about the abandoned... Um, say hey to Arlo again, because I want to show you something. Hey. Um, so yeah, you can do rock, paper, scissors with him. When searching the hazardous ruins, chat with him. Wait. Remember, safety first. You gained another relationship point. He's telling you about the ruins, which is where you're going to go to find um, not only ore, and you get a ton of um, stones, but you also find relics. And the relics you can either trade into um, the science folks, or you can give them to the church to get certain seeds. So I kind of... So, this is the Django, or J sorry, Django. I can't believe that's so Oh, funny. a new building! All the black people are coming at me. Folks moving in. You need a fresher <laughs> I'm black, so I can say that. Don't give me any Tell me this time. So, he gave you some juice, some lemon juice. So, you've met him. He was one of the people you needed to meet. But, let's go on out of here and fix our floor. Oh, let me meet her. Hello, new builder. That is who you She's are the editor of the newspaper. Just meet her. Okay, so let's go home. And home is right outside of the city gates. And right there in front of you. Because I'm going to end this video. But first we're going to fix the floor and I'm going to show you what that does for you. But I'll be back with another video in like maybe a couple of days. Uh, hey, I'm, it's a weekend. Look at the sign. Light sounds. Yay. So you click E to enter. And then we're going to fix these gaps because without them you will not get a nice good night's sleep. So E to fix. It's telling you this one takes three woods. Do you want to replace it? Yes. That one's done. The one by the door. We're going to turn around. E. Tells you it needs three as well. Do you want to do it? Yes. Okay. And then go to this one. I think this is a big one. Fix this gap, yes. It takes 20. Ugh, I don't have enough. So I only got 14. So we're going to fix this little one back here. Forgot about that. And it takes 10. I do have 10. So click yes. And then we got to go back out because I need at least 20 to fix that big one. So we're going to have to knock down some trees. And I have to get this done before my stamina is totally depleted. Although, we did get that salad dressing and I can use it to get some more stamina, I think. No, I can use the lemon juice. So as you can see, it's getting dark too. So I scroll over to my axe. Go ahead and hit that tree. Come on. Come on. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and place my furnace down. Right here is perfect. And then I'll show you how to use that in my next video. But let me go ahead and get some more wood. And remember, we need 20. So I have 8 now. Come on. No, 
don't know. I may do um, a live um, gameplay on Twitch um, because I can do more things with people that you know are while people are watching, or and then the video saves for people that didn't get to see it while I was live. So I'll think about it. Or if you guys you know have suggestions, you can put it down in the comments. Come on, D'Angelo, before it gets dark. I don't know why it hesitates. Okay, so that should give me 20. Pretty sure. Yep, I have 23. So, gonna hop over this fence here. Go back inside my little raggedy workshop that my deadbeat pa left for me. And fix these holes so I can get a good night's sleep. And get all of my health back. Well, my health, nothing happened because I wasn't fighting. And, uh, but definitely need my stamina back up. So go over here to where the hole is, E to fix this gap, tells me it needs 20 wood, yes. All the gaps have been fixed, finally going to have a good night's sleep. Yep, so I finished that, and then just in time because I have six ammo left, so although it's pretty early, I'm going to go ahead and lay down because I want to show you guys what happens when I wake up. So it's, you go next to the bed, you hit E to sleep, confirm it, this is what happens, and then it's the next day. So if you'll see um, the yellow on my bar, my stamina is back up. So I also learned that if you go to sleep, that saves your progress. So I'm going to stop right here. This is our first day in uh, Porsche. And I will be back with another video. I'll pick up where I left off at. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to do a live um, gameplay on Twitch. Um, or if you just want me to do another video. Whichever works best for you and I. So, I am Amun Zamani. Thanks for watching my video. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.